Tensions escalating across India over derogatory remarks made by ruling party officials about the Prophet Muhammad and Islam. Police have stepped up arrests as clashes break out between Muslims and Hindus in several states. More than 300 people have been detained. Authorities in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh have demolished the houses of some Muslims who were allegedly linked to the violent protests. They claim that the buildings were constructed illegally. Excavators were seen knocking down walls of a residence in a Prayagraj amid a heavy police presence. The demolitions have triggered strong condemnation from opposition leaders who've accused the state government of targeting the minority Muslim community. Eshan Garag joins us live now from New Delhi for more on this. Ishan, the demolition of those homes, it's only stoked more tensions. Uh, the ruling party has tried to do some damage control, but do we expect the Prime Minister himself, Narendra Modi, to come out and address this issue anytime soon? Well, that's the call coming from all quarters of the country, including opposition members, uh, members of the Congress party, which is the main opposition party at the federal level for the BJP, and even several Muslim community leaders also saying that this is the moment for Prime Minister Narendra Modi to step in, not only to ensure that there is a communal harmony in the country once again, at least to some degree, but also uh, so that India's image internationally is not tarnished by communal uh, acts of incidences. There are also uh, uh, reports within uh, coming from the Indian media saying that the Bharatiya Janata Party, the BJP, has taken some steps to ensure that uh, the de derogatory comments that were made by BJP's own official spokesperson, these incidences are not repeated anytime in the future. So they have taken steps. Uh, the ambassadors of the country have also uh, uh, apologized uh, on uh, uh, have uh, have clarified that the government uh, has distanced itself from these remarks on international forum uh, in the countries where they are placed so we are seeing some activity by the government uh, on this particular issue and this is unprecedented because uh, several derogatory comments hateful comments have often become uh, a mainstay on Indian TV news channels uh, but this is for the very first time that we are seeing some solid action being taken not only uh, by the Indian government, but also by the BJP as a party. It has already suspended Nupur Sharma for making the comments, expelled another party official, and has reportedly also uh, come out with a set of guidelines for its new official spokespersons. But as we have seen in the past, even as the protests are growing, Prime Minister Modi uh, has, hasn't usually come out in the middle of them to try and stop anything. So we may not see any, uh, uh, we may not get a word from him anytime soon. Uh, the outrage is, is clearly there, Ishan, uh, but evidently some religious leaders have called for an end to the protests. Absolutely. The Muslim community in the country seems to be divided on this issue, but there is a huge outpouring. Of, uh, of the sentiment that these tensions need to cease immediately. The All India Muslim Person Law Board, which is one of the most prominent Muslim bodies in the country, has said that uh, the Muslim community must uh, uh, ensure that there is some uh, uh, there is some uh, sort of re uh, restraint uh, on their part and have asked for peace across the country. Other Muslim community leaders, including some Bollywood celebrities and local leaders, have called for peace. Uh, but at the same time, there are certainly pockets within the Muslim community itself who say that uh, the acts of uh, uh, hate and anger against the minority groups have been rising and therefore the need for protest is certainly there. And these protests have, uh, protests have certainly turned ugly. So this is going to be a challenge uh, for the security forces as well as for the community leaders. A mounting challenge indeed. Ishan, thank you very much for that. Ishan Garg there in New Delhi.